like, I don't exclude people. I was excluded like for so many reasons in my life. No, no, I know. People say like, oh, you were blown and blah, 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 blah. People have no idea where I came from, my background, they have no idea. So mm -hmm. I like to exclude people. And I know that we did that to Taylor. And I say sorry to her. And not only like to Taylor, we say a lot of things. Like I remember like we can't, like when Danielle made a comment about my thing, you were like, let's put Danielle on the block. And I was like, no, you're going crazy. It was a joke, you know? And, and the thing is like to understand medically what I went through, like, I, I don't think you want to, like, it's, it's going to be, it's tough. You know, I just want to say that. Like, it's, it's something where your mind is not thinking correctly. You are high as fuck. Like you are so high dopamine when it spikes super, super hard, you're going to say some crazy shit because you're not well in the head. And that's what happened to me. You know, like, but you were getting treatment now, right? Yes, of course. I'm on so much. Like, I will show you all my medication. I have to take four pills every single day at night. And you know what? People can shit, shit on me and say I'm a crazy person. At least I got fucking help, you know? Like, no, getting help. That's important. But I mean, like, how you have, uh, how is your mind right now about whatever happened? My mind is totally yeah. closure. Yeah. In that the people that love me will love me and the people that hate me will always hate me. And that's okay. And I'm, I'm okay with that, you know? And I, I sent uh, Taylor a DM. She posted something like, I haven't heard an apology from Paloma because it's been extremely hard to deal with this whole thing, the negative, negative, negative constantly in my brain. The, the, people, the people in my DMs, like I have hundreds of DMs of people every single day, you should die, go die, bitch. You're a fucking piece of shit. Like, that to me as well. Like, uh, uh, but yeah. but for, I finally did apologize. And yes, I did apologize to her. I, I sent her a message. And whether she opens that and sees it or not, like I sent her a, a, a DM, you know? But I, I did my dues and I apologized, I did. Yeah, I, I believe like, since I'm like, I'm an old, old lady, <laughs> I don't DM people and apologize. I give them a call. I think it's important. I can send you her number. Yeah, send me her number. I mean, I, I will apologize. I'm mean, forcing you to do anything that you don't want to do. But I, I believe that we need to show people that we learn something. Since we say like bad stuff in public, in a TV or a show that's like super famous, we should say, uh, like, be have the balls to say, I am sorry. This was wrong. And here, right. it's changing my mindset. It's not mm -hmm. just. I'd be telling people like I, I did say sorry to Taylor. I did say sorry to other people in, during the show, right. and, but they're gonna see that through my actions, through how I act on like okay, if someone hits you or if someone screams at you, at, at least at me. If someone screams at me, I don't feel bad for the people. I feel bad if I scream back to them. So right. I think like we should like use this uh, platform. It's you okay? I had like a mental break. This was going on with me. That's not an excuse for me to behave that way. But no, it's, not. it's not an excuse at all. I'm not trying to do make it a cop out. Happened. It already happened. What can I do to change that narrative right now? How can I perceive like now I'm getting treatment? I can share with people my experience. I have this diagnostic. I have. I'm taking the medication. How can I see it? How can I change my perspective? And how can I inspire other people that already made mistakes as well? We are humans. We gonna. We are fighting for our seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. We gonna say things that we don't mean. We gonna lie. People lied to me. People manipulated me. People like did, and I did as well. It was part of the game. But uh, uh, that's not an excuse for us to be uh, like like hurting people. And I know how much like we are all hurt. Like right. even you, like you left on six day, like you'll be dealing with hate for like the last three months. Yeah. You, so, and I see your pain, but yeah. it's fresh. I mean, disclosure, I'm sorry to Taylor. I said it on my podcast. I said it, I, I like, I've said it before, like on a podcast I was on, like I've said it so many times, like, I am sorry, but I do need to call her. Right. I don't have her phone number. I can say a hundred times, baby. But when we were like just saying and uh, on podcast and stuff, not, she's so busy. She. Well, as, as I speak, I'm getting DMs right now. I hope like it's it's just never ending. Like the hate is never ending right now. Never ends. But you can you can change the way that you see. You are doing your best. You're putting your face out there. Right now you're putting your face and you're being vulnerable. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to be vulnerable. I know. It takes a lot. <laughs> like I got like so many people uh, texting me and sending me messages and stuff. But who is the Angie that I want to be? I know who I am and I know what I'm doing like towards who I want to be to improve, to learn, to evolve. And that's what I want to share with you. That's like we cannot change people's mindset and we don't want to do that. But yeah. we them through our actions not just through our words that we didn't mean it yeah oh, you think like oh i treated taylor this way or i say this and this is because of yeah no i'm not giving you like that that responsibility right on and knowing that you've been out of the house for three months i don't know how long baby but you still have like okay you still were taking care of yourself and i think that's amazing that's brave of you you remove yourself from a place that you dreamed about even though like some people think like that's disrespectful for the casting member or for the show for the casting for michael is trying to get in the show for i don't know six years yeah no and i get that you got a chance and you had six days and you left i know that your mental health is way more important than any and than anything and I, I give you credit for that i think like you're so yeah. brave for doing that i really appreciate it and i think this is amazing but like using or saying that you're sleeping like deprivation or whatever, it's uh, it's not an excuse for bad behavior. I'm gonna be just really honest with you, and you know what? People may may really like not understand, but I was diagnosed afterwards with bipolar disorder. Uh -huh. you know, I went through a mania. I went through a manic episode, and you know what? For the people understanding that, that is when you lose touch with reality. And I'm di I was diagnosed with a fucking disorder. Okay, so as long as as much as I fucking wanted to stay in there, like as much as I, I wanted to stay, I couldn't fucking stay. I don't. I don't I might think I'm to make 
my baby. And I'm like, I appreciate that you were sharing this. Like, I couldn't stay. I wanted to stay. I'm sorry to the casting producers. I'm sorry to Big Brother. I wanted to stay, but I couldn't fucking stay. And when I came out of there, I was painted as a fucking villain, okay? That's yeah. what I Yeah, I, I, I get it. And like, yeah. sharing your experience, sharing your, your mental health, sharing your diagnostic, like, everything yeah. to help other people. But you only can reach people if you open your heart. And my heart is open, indeed.